Good, one more time. Do you see, see her start shaking because she's activating? Press. Now put your legs straight. Notice what I did with my head. Now tuck your legs in, pause. Knees to your chest, pause. Now roll up. Notice how she did that? She has the rest of her lats engaged. She has resistance against that plane and she has more core recruitment. Now roll down, let your hips touch, pause, stretch away. Go cool. one more time. Push against me, resist, pull up, roll all the way up, roll all the way down, pause. Now the hips are in line, now she can extend her hips and her knees at the same time. One more time. So flex everything, roll those hips up, come back down, stretch it out. It's cool, right? One thing I want you to notice, what she had to do on the, re on the return is after she extended her knees, she had to flex them and pull them and engage them as she rolled down. A lot of issues with toes to bar is an athlete will work as hard as they can to touch that bar and then they relax. And then when you relax, you're dead weight, you don't have any activation coming back down and then that swing happens. That swing that we all love and hate, and then we come back up, work as hard as we can, kick it, and then relax. At all points in time, as we go up, we have to be engaged. As we come down, we have to be engaged. And you're going to cue them through it very slowly. One, number one, active lat. Your, sec your hand is going to be in the lower back and the hamstring. Now she's going to tuck her legs in first. We'll do bent. Knees to chest. She's going to push against that bar with that active shoulder. Bring her hips up. Roll her hips down. Then extend her legs. You don't need to go so high. So active shoulder. Active shoulder. There we go. Bring knees to the chest, roll the hips up a little bit, pause, kick the bar, reset, squeeze the knees, hit knee flexion, roll the hips in line, and then beautiful extension. My job is to pause her so she doesn't get taxed out. One more time, active shoulder. Pick up, roll it up, pause, extend, back down, roll it out, full extension so the heels come slightly behind the bar from her being in a hollow body. Cool? You guys like that? Pause two seconds in each position so you guys understand the movement. Then we're going to play some speed on it. If I have an athlete that they kick up to the toes to bar, but then they relax on the, way bottom, uh, on the way down, I reinforce that by physically throwing their feet back down to the ground. So when they come up, I push them back so they understand that I want that pull with the hip, that full hip extension. Okay, can you go up there? You're going to hit my hand, and you guys are going to really see me push her down. I don't care if you bend your legs. I'm really forcing her to pull her feet down. When she starts doing that, you understand, I want yeah, you to move that. I am, aren't I? Because that's what I want. I want you to get away from my hand. After you hit it, pull away back down. And that's going to help those athletes that even though they understand the movement on the way up, they relax, force them. Force them to go that direction.